Hello everyone, welcome to RPA Stuff. In today's video, we're solving a system test interview question from a big four company. If you're prepping for interviews, this challenge or a similar one with slight variations could come your way. Watch till the end to see what variations could exist in this challenge. Let's dive in. Challenge, the task is to visit the RPA stock market page, select each company from the drop-down menu one by one, and capture their prices. Since stock prices change at regular intervals, you'll capture the price again after 5 seconds. Finally, record the details in an Excel file with the columns. Company name, the name of the company you selected from the drop-down. Price 1, the stock price when you first captured it. Price 2, the stock price when you captured it again after 5 seconds. Average price, the average of price 1 and price 2. The output will look something like this. You'll find the link to this website in the description. As a variation, the interviewer might ask you to visit a real-time stock website like the NSE or BSE website. Let's start building the bot. Our first task will be open browser. I'll select Chrome as the browser and copy-paste the link directly. I suggest using a config file to store the URL. This demonstrates good coding practices and can earn you some points from interviewer. Our next step will be to get the number of companies from the dropdown. We'll use the capture command to get the total number of items present in the dropdown. In action to take section, select option get total items. To store the output of this action, I will create string variable total items. If you look at the portal, you'll notice that there are four items in the dropdown, including the select option and three company names. So, the actual number of values to iterate over is three. To iterate, We'll use the loop action with the n times iterator option. In the times section, reduce the total number of items by 1 to get the correct iteration. But as you can see, AA will mark it as an error since it's a string variable, so we need to use the dot to number function. Create counter variable to store iteration count. The next step will be to select an option in the dropdown using the index. I'll copy the previous capture command and set the action to select item by index. He indexed to specify should start from 2, while the counter in the iterator starts from 1. This is because the first option in the dropdown is select, which we need to ignore. Hence, we need to create another variable that will hold the value of the counter plus 1. I'll name this variable current count. So, in our capture command, the index to select will be the current count variable. Next step is to click on search button. Use another capture command and select action to take as click.
Now we need to capture the company name. We'll use the get property command to retrieve the value. To determine which property holds the value, expand the object property section. There are two properties that contain the value, inner HTML and inner text. You can choose either of them, but I'll go with inner HTML. Create a variable to store this value. I have named it as company name. Similarly, use another capture command to get the stock price. Store this value in a variable. I'll name it price 1. As per our requirement, we need to wait for 5 seconds to capture the changing price. Drag and drop the delay action. Select seconds and set it to 5. Copy the previous capture command that extracts the price, and just change the variable to price 2. Now, let's add a message box to display all these values and check our bot's output. Before we move on, a quick favor to ask. If you've been enjoying this content and finding it helpful, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It means a lot and helps keep the channel going strong. As you can see, the bot is working as expected. Now, our next step is to insert these values into an Excel file. The interviewer might ask you to use a specific method for inserting these values. For example, they might ask you to write data assuming you don't have Excel installed on your system. In this case, you should recognize that they are asking you to use the Excel basic action. Alternatively, they might ask you to use Excel as a database specifically, or other variations. I will use the Excel basic package in this video. Use the open action from the Excel basic package and place it before the loop action. Specify the file location and give a session name of your choice. Use the close action outside the loop to end the open session and save the Excel file. Now we need to use the set cell actions to write all the data. In column A, we have the company name. So, select the specific cell option. The column will be constant, while the row part of the cell value will be dynamic, matching the current count variable. Since it's a number type variable, we'll use the dot to string function to convert it to a string. 
value to set as company name variable. Similarly, add set sell actions for columns B and C to input price 1 and price 2. The next column is average price. Here, we need to enter the value of price 1 plus price 2 divided by 2. To do this, we will use the number assign action. Since price 1 and price 2 are string variables, we need to use the dot to number function. Don't forget the parentheses to get the correct value. Now, to write the average price, we'll use a similar set cell action for column D. Since average price is a number variable, we'll need to use the dot to string function. Our bot is completed, let's save and run the bot. While our bot is running, let's discuss possible variations an interviewer might request. They might ask for the table to be written in ascending or descending order based on the company average price. You can try this on your own. A hint for achieving this, use the data table package. As you can see our output is correct. Thanks for sticking with us through this bot building adventure. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep experimenting with these challenges. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on new content. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. See you in the next video.